This is a real uh, special day for us uh, here to make progress on a very exciting infrastructure project. Another step forward in our effort to improve all of San Diego's neighborhoods. And we are here to celebrate the uh, long-awaited, really, really, really long-awaited. <laughs> right, Todd? Yes. <laughs> Todd and I have done this. Uh, we've been waiting for this for a very long time. Construction of the state, uh, state-of-the-art branch for the uptown community. Are you guys excited too? Yeah, that's what I serve. So this is, uh, this is big because this project represents a $20 million uh, infrastructure investment that is going to serve families from Bankers Hill to Hillcrest to Mission Hills to University Heights. And I think all of us know, and why you're here, that libraries are so much more than books. They're gathering spaces for our communities. They're gathering spaces for our families and for our kids. Uh, it's where students learn, and it's where communities grow. And so in an era when high quality education and access to the internet is absolutely essential for people to succeed, libraries are more important than ever yeah. as community resources. Um, so I think all of you know the old Mission Hills Hillcrest Library was the center of the community, but since it opened nearly 60 years ago, it's hard to believe that it was 60 years, um, this area has seen so many uh, great and tremendous changes. But as the neighborhood grew, the library didn't. Uh, it was too small for the needs for the modern community here. So um, this new Mission Hills Hillcrest Library changes that. At 14,000 square feet, it will be more than three times, three times the size of the old library. That is going to be fantastic. Uh, just a few, uh, a few highlights. It's going to feature children and teen areas. It's going to uh, community gathering spaces, a study room, and of course, a computer area. Underground parking, something that is very important here in Mission Hills. You can see the crew has already started on the, uh, sometimes we go to ground breakings and we do the shovel. They, they get a head start on us here today. The shovels, they got a little bigger. Um, but it's all about educational opportunities as well. From students from all over the community, innovative programs and activities. Uh, and of course, as I said before, uh, that computer access for kids, for seniors, for families, so incredibly important. Um, this is part of a citywide trend. I'm so happy as I stand here with, with my colleagues, uh, Councilmember Ward and, and Assemblymember Gloria, um, this is the second new library built in San Diego within the past decade, and there's so many more that are on the drawing board. Skyline, Uptown, San Ysidro. All across San Diego, we're building a better future for our cities and our communities. And so I want to thank everybody for all your tireless help to get to where we are uh, today. This project is made possible by a public-private partnership between local philanthropists, of course, and the city. You'll hear a little bit more about that in a second. Um, so the Sandy of San Diego was a partner and a $10 million grant from the Hervey Family Fund and the Harley and Bessie Knox Memorial Fund at the San Diego Foundation, which is why, in recognition of their immense generosity, and I truly mean that, $10 million, immense generosity, this library will be named in honor of the Harley and Bessie Knox, true leaders and true philanthropists in this community. There are uh, so many people who helped us get here. I, I particularly want to thank uh, my friend and, uh, and now my Sacramento colleague, Assemblymember Todd Gloria, who really played an instrumental role on driving this project uh, on the City Council. Todd and I, as you probably remember, used to sit next to each other on the Council for years and years, and we would often talk about, we will get this, we will get this <laughs> library done. And so, um, of course, I'm so glad that he is here to celebrate this, uh, this milestone. And of course, the great work that our council member Chris Ward is doing, and we'll be here to see this to fruition and other, other great projects. Um, it's because they care about this community like all of us do. So I, I couldn't be uh, happier to be here to help celebrate uh, this progress. Again, I want to thank the, the San Diego Public Library Foundation, true partners, and making sure that the community is vested in our libraries and our success as we do more and more. I want to thank all of our crew at the city's Public Works Department. Uh, James, pause, thank you for everything you're doing. And Misty Jones, where's Misty? There she is. Uh, let's give her a hand for our library director, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> library directors love building new libraries, I found. Um, and so thank you. We can't wait when we actually come back and we open this beautiful facility. It's going to be not just a neighborhood milestone. This is truly going to be a citywide milestone when we all come back here together. And with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Assemblymember Todd Gloria. Todd?
Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you to Kevin, to Councilmember Ward, uh, for inviting me back. Uh, I feel like a senior who showed up on the first day of school after he graduated. Uh, but as Kevin was alluding to, we spent a lot of years on this particular uh, project, and I'm just so grateful to whoever decided to resurface this parking lot so that it's maximum heat absorbing right now. Uh, that will force all of us to keep the speeches very, very short. Uh, but Kevin, uh, the mayor, I'm sorry. Sort of, we, we, we have hung out for many, many years together, but I, I think the mayor would remember a, a, very, a meeting that he and I had hosted uh, probably about 10 years ago now on atop the Park Manor Hotel, uh, where we invited the community to come together to talk about how we could make this project happen. And I share that not because I want to illustrate how long it takes to make projects happen, but I share that to show the pers uh, perseverance, the persistence of the, of the mayor, of myself, of Councilmember Ward, and of this community to get this project done. I think that perseverance and persistence really reflects how important libraries are to communities. And I think the mayor and, and Councilmember Ward and myself hear often from people that kind of question whether or not libraries are important in the 21st century. But I would invite anyone who ever asked that question to go to any branch library in this city and see the line of folks waiting at the front door until the door is unlocked and opened up. Libraries are cr more critical than ever, and I'm so grateful that Mission Hills and Hillcrest will have a state-of-the-art library very, very soon. To, to that point, showing that persistence, I, I'm reminded of those community charrettes, of the fundraising drive led by the Fat Library Foundation, by the Friends of the Library, uh, of some frivolous litigation. I mean, the list goes on, and the challenges have been immense. But the point of today's uh, event is to show not only is this real, but probably more than anything, that darn sign that was up there for a million years saying that there's a library coming is now gone, and there's no going back. We can't have a hole like that in the ground forever, right? This project is going to get done. To the members of this community, thank you so much so much for the opportunity to represent you uh, through the City Council uh, while we work to get this project done. I appreciate your patience with this and I would, I would remind folks that you know there was a short time that I was mayor of this city uh, and I was sitting up in that mayor's office and Kevin can tell you this better than I can at this point, uh, but there was an opportunity to, to do a $120 million infrastructure bond uh, and there was a question about which projects could get funded and I want to point out that I used that opportunity to make sure that not only did this library get underway but that new fire station got underway too, right? <laughs> So from difficult situations, good things can come. Uh, and I'm grateful today. It shows you again how long and how, how much we have to persist. Um, and I would thank the city staff who is here, uh, Public Works, uh, Engineering and Capital Improvement, of course, my favorite library lady, um, everyone working together, because we can always dream up ideas, but it's really the city staff that has to implement it. And time and again, whether it was talking to James Nagelvoort saying, I want this done now, and he would never say no. He would always be truthful, but he would never say no. And I think the proof that we're here today is, is, is that the, the uh, reflection of the commitment of city staff has to these communities. Uh, and lastly, I would just say uh, is that we have so many more communities that need this, right? We have a North Park Library that could use some expansion, Ocean Beach Library that can use some expansion. And I look at the beautiful uh, jewels that have been created in Point Loma, uh, in Barrio Logan, Logan Heights, in downtown at our phenomenal central library that is so well utilized. Uh, I think we know how to get Get these things done. Let's try and do this in every community because, again, every community needs a great public library. Thank you again so much for letting me be here today. Back to you, Mr. Mayor. Okay. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Council Member Chris Ward. Chris? Thank you. Thank you and good morning, neighbors and friends. Oh, thank you so much, Mayor Faulkner, Assembly Member Gloria, uh, the Library Foundation, the Knox family for their generosity, everybody that got us to the point that we're here today. There is nothing uh, as the uptown representative that makes me more happy than the sound of heavy construction equipment <laughs> working for you uh, to get this project done. Um, you know, we were here, I think, you know, a short while ago, just before uh, my predecessor's uh, term ended to be able to celebrate, you know, what was gonna be a plan to move forward, a plan to be able to break ground Nothing made the Mission Hills and Hillcrest residents more happy in recent months than when that building actually came down, and it came down fast. So we are making progress, and we have a lot to look forward to through this new facility. We've raised over $10 million in private philanthropy through the generosity of residents right here in Mission Hills and Hillcrest, and we're gonna have a beautiful state-of-the-art facility. Let me tell you about some of these features. It's gonna be LEED Gold certified. That's hard, that's a challenge, but we are committed to sustainable infrastructure here in 
San Diego, and that's going to be an amazing accomplishment. We're also going to preserve the craftsman heritage that we have here in the Mission Hills and Hillcrest neighborhoods as part of the beautiful architecture that you can see on some of these renderings. It's going to be a beacon for years to come and really be a synergy with the rest of our community here. It's going to be over 14,000 square feet. You heard that it's going to be a tripling of size for the existing Mission Hills Library, but I'd add a note to what the mayor said before. It wasn't just Mission Hills that grew up, but it was Hillcrest that grew up as well without a library to begin with as a neighborhood. So this is really going to be able to serve so many more people in the uptown community. And of course, parking. We're able to increase from 9 to 85 the number of parking spaces that will be available to the public. And I think we're going to make something happen after hours as well. We have a growing and diverse needs here in the Uptown community. We're built out and we have, I think, more on the planning book. So it's important that we get beautiful public facilities and infrastructure to match the incoming population and the additional intensities that we're gonna be uh, seeing in the coming years. But this library is gonna have dedicated spaces for children and teens, a study area, a computer lab, a friends of the library room. It will have kinetic sculptures by artist Janet Swag mounted to the interior walls. The library will feature a community room that can be a resource for community and nonprofit meetings. And I know firsthand as a council member, everybody's looking for civic space. We want a place for people to gather and come together. This is gonna provide more opportunities to be able to do that. Children's and teens, older adults and seniors, this library is gonna be a hub of activity and a bright spot for community engagement for years to come. So again, thank you so much to all of the neighbors and community members who were patient and who stepped up to raise the funds for the library over the next decade. We're going to talk about another $3 million. We're going to hear a pitch in a, in a few minutes that is still necessary. And I know that the Friends of the Library is going to be committed and our Mission Hills residents are going to be committed to creative ways to be able to help uh, bridge that gap. And we can do that because we're San Diegan. So the community has waited for a long time for this grand opening. And my job as the council member for the third district is to make sure that we stay on time on track, on budget, and we are gonna get this open. Uh, I think January 2019 is our current target date, so you can hold me to it. I'll be watching actively to make sure that we meet the community's needs. Thank you, everybody, who got us here today, and let's get this library uh, built and underway. Thank you. Thank you, my man. Very very well said. I'll make sure I get everybody here that we're supposed to uh, have here in order. Um, now I'd like to introduce uh, Megan Blair with the San Diego Public Library Foundation to say a few words. And again, I, I, can't, th I can't thank enough the members of the foundation who are out there. It's a true partnership um, that we wouldn't have the success in the city without so many of you. I see so many board members who are out here today. Thank you for everything you're doing. And uh, Megan, what a, what a great job. Step on up. Good morning. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to the Library Foundation trustees, the library commissioners, all of the Uptown residents, all of the members of the Friends. I am thrilled to be here with Phyllis Marion, the president of the Mission Hills Hillcrest Library to celebrate the construction of this essential new community asset. Libraries are more popular and relevant than ever, and library use is on the rise both nationwide and here in San Diego. This is because the libraries are at the forefront of promoting literacy and a love of learning. And here in San Diego, libraries are the center of the digital age helping citizens adapt and thrive in a challenging online world. That is why the San Diego Public Library Foundation and the Friends of the Library are forming a community campaign. This campaign for excellence seeks private support to allow for the full completion of the library and to infuse this library with educational resources, innovative programming, and the latest technology. Library Director Misty Jones always says her goal is for the San Diego Public Library to be the world's best. Through the Campaign for Excellence, San Diegans can help ensure that this library is not only the best when it opens, but it's the best into the future. I want to recognize and thank Mission Hills resident Laura Farmer Sherman, who is heading a community of community, community leaders being formed for this campaign. And we are most grateful to the Hervey Family Fund and the Harley and Betsy Knox Memorial Fund at the San Diego Foundation for their generous support that gets us to $10 million towards an overall Campaign for Excellence goal of $13 million. We will formally announce opportunities to get involved next spring, and I encourage anyone interested in learning more and receiving construction and Campaign for Excellence updates to sign up on the Library Foundation website at supportmylibrary.org. 
Thank you. Thank you. Very well said. Next up, Kathleen Mead from our San Diego Foundation. Kathleen. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. The San Diego Foundation, on behalf of our board of directors and our very community engaged donors, is honored to be with you here today in celebration of this momentous occasion. For more than 40 years, the San Diego Foundation has maximized the impact of charitable giving of our donors throughout the county. We work with partners in government, philanthropy, business, and the nonprofit sector to improve the quality of life for all San Diegans. This Mission Hills Library is an example of what's possible when leaders like Mayor Faulkner, Assembly Member Gloria, Council Member Ward, the Public Library Foundation, and Friends of the Mission Hills Hillcrest Library come together and have a vision for the community. As has been stated today, libraries are not just a place for keeping books. They are a place for the community to gather and engage together. And we look forward to celebrating with our very generous donors, the Knox Sefton family and the Hervey family, as we welcome the, Hill, the Mission Hills Library in 2018. Thank you so much. Well, again, thank you all for uh, coming out uh, today. All of uh, you have made a, a big, big uh, part. You've been a big, big part of, of what this is. And to see the smiles on everybody's faces as I look out here, I can't wait, uh, Council Member, when we do come back in so many months, uh, when we actually open this beautiful facility. So we'll make a really, 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 really big deal about it because it took a really, really long time <laughs> to get here. Um, so to be continued, um, thank you all very, very much. Look as they, uh, that little shovel breaks ground, as it's, uh, you know, that small little shovel over there. Thank you again to the driver folks. Um, to be continued, guys, this is going to be a great addition for this community. Thank you very much. Thank you.